Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can send appointment reminder messages to your patients for their routine checkups on WhatsApp. So guys, if you're running any hospital facility, this automation is going to be really useful for you. Here, you just have to create a spreadsheet in Google Sheets application and you have to add the appointment details of the patients in a row in the spreadsheet. And after adding all the details, our workflow of automation is going to check those rows and see whose remind whose appointment is on tomorrow's date and one day before the appointment a reminder message will be sent to that patient automatically on whatsapp yes guys this can happen and we are going to do this without any coding very easily let me show you how so we are using Pabli connect application to set up this automation so this is a automation tool and this is the landing page of Pabli connect I have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. You can just sign up right now from the given link and after that you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. Okay, and here you have to cl click on this create workflow button to set up the automations workflow. Right, and here you can give a suitable name to this workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here. So I have given the name as send reminders for routine appointments on WhatsApp. Now click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So in the trigger, you need to connect uh, the trigger application. That means the application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So trigger event is that event which is going to start this workflow. Okay. So in this case, guys, we are going to schedule the workflow first. Okay. So we want that this workflow should run every day and check this spreadsheet and check whose uh, appointment is tomorrow. And if, if it finds any patient whose reminder is tomorrow or the next day, the workflow is going to continue and send the reminder message. Okay. So for scheduling the, uh, the workflow, I'm going to use scheduler feature of Pabli here. And here it is asking how often you want to run your workflow. So I want that this workflow should run every day at any given time. So I'm giving the time here as 9 a.m. in the morning daily. Okay. Right. Then click on save. <clears throat> and here you can see it is showing us this uh, detail that this workflow is scheduled to run every day at this time right and guys after scheduling what we want we want that this workflow should run and check the spreadsheet and uh, so to check the spreadsheet we need to get the data from our spreadsheet to here and guys we want that only the details of those patients will come here whose appointment is tomorrow for that we are going to uh, fetch the um, date of tomorrow and we are going to search for that date in this spreadsheet so to get the date, I'm going to use a feature here, which is called date time formatter feature. Okay. So search for date time formatter. And in the action event, I'm going to select this modify current date option. Okay. So with the help of this, we are going to fetch the details of next day. So click on next, uh, click on connect. And here it is asking in which format you want the date. So remember to select the format uh, as it is as you have entered here inside the spreadsheet so i have entered the details of that dates here like this yyy and mm and dd okay years months and dates so i'm going to select this same format this one is here select it now select the time zone my time zone is asia kolkata and in the operation i'm selecting addition and in the units i'm selecting days and i'm going to put the value here as one <clears throat> So by selecting this operation, this feature is going to give us the date of tomorrow. Okay, so click on save and send test request. And here we got tomorrow's date, right? Now I'm going to search for this date here in this spreadsheet. And uh, all the and after that, we are going to fetch out the details of that patient whose uh, appointment is tomorrow. Okay, from this spreadsheet for that. Just click here in this plus icon 
and from this action step search for Google Sheets application and in the action event you will find this lookup spreadsheet rows option so click on lookup spreadsheets and then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with Google Sheets and from here select the Google account by which you have created the spreadsheet okay then click on continue from here all right and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected here and here it is asking to select the spreadsheets name so here is my spreadsheet the name is routine checkup so select this name from this list here you can see routine checkup is here select it <clears throat> and then select the sheets name so my sheets name is this sheet one it is auto automatically selected here and here it is asking the lookup column so where you want to search for any value you have to put the columns name here so I want to search for a uh, for a particular date in this C column in the appointment date column so I'm going to put C here C okay and in the lookup value I'm going to map this date that I have received here so this is tomorrow's date and I'm going to map this label here just click here and it will show you the previous steps here in the drop down and from the second step map the date so when you map a label here every time this workflow is going to execute the label is going to change according to this uh, previous feature and will give you the days of next day okay and it will be searched in this spreadsheet okay that's why we map the date here and here uh, you can select true option or false if you want to include headers in the response so I'm making it true and here it is asking to sort value that means if you want to search for the values from the top or from the bottom I'm selecting top here so click on save and send test request and uh, the details of those patients whose appointments are tomorrow will be fetched here like this you can see it is showing us the details of a patient and the value is 22 you can see I have mapped this date 22 10 2022 and it has searched for the same date and according to this date the details of uh, patient is also arrived here the date is here the patient's detail is here the date is here the patient's detail is here and these there are three patients of uh, for, for tomorrow appointment okay but guys we got the details of all the patients together but we want to send the reminder messages one by one to each and every patient whose appointment is tomorrow. So for that we need to uh, capture the data here in a different format so that we can segregate the data one by one with another feature of Pabli which is called iterator. So to connect iterator in the next step you have to map this toggle button to off simple response button to off then click on save and send test request and fetch the data in array format now you can see guys we can we got this response result label in which we got the data in this array format okay now we can separate the data with the help of iterator just click here on this plus icon <clears throat> and from here search for iterator feature here it is selected and here it is asking to choose the array so uh, just click here and the previous steps will appear here and from here map this response result label and then click on save and send test request button and here you can see the data got separated and it has started showing the details of the first patient from the, in the spreadsheet whose appointment is tomorrow okay so this is the name of the patient this is the number this is the date and this is the timing so you can check here this was our first patient okay 10 to 11 a.m so this is how it is going to work every time starting from the first patient then second then third and so on all right so now we got the data now let's send a message to this patient and to send the message just click here on this plus icon and we are going to send this message on whatsapp to the patient and to connect with whatsapp here we need to have the access of whatsapp's api or application programming interface and to get that access we are going to use whatsapp's cloud api platform now to connect with cloud api here first you have to configure your uh, cloud api setup with your whatsapp number 
and to know how to do that you can watch the video from the description we have created a dedicated video on cloud api setup configuration okay and after that you can search for whatsapp cloud api here and it will appear here you just have to select it and then select the action event as send template message then click on connect and if you're making the connection with cloud api for the very first time select add new connection option here you can give a name to this connection as well and here you have to fill the permanent access token of your cloud api here you have to fill the phone number id and the business account id details so guys if you want to know more about these things and making the connections you can just click here on this here text written in blue from this help text and you will reach the forum page here this is pavli's forum and here you will find these two videos first first video is for setting up the cloud api inside pavli connect second is for generating the permanent access token and then we have written instructions also along with screenshots to make you educate about the connections of cloud api right so guys uh, you can learn from here and for these things to find let me show you my cloud api setup so this is a meta for developers uh, section and i'm under whatsapp's getting started page and here you can see uh, i have this temporary access token here so first they gave you temporary tokens but these tokens expires in 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent token and you can watch the video from this forum page or from the description on how to generate the token and generate it and after that you have to paste the token here in this field okay and after that uh, for the phone number id and uh, this account id you can come back to the cloud api setup and here is my phone number id you can just copy that paste it here similarly copy the business account id and paste it here okay and after filling all the things just click on save and you will be connected with the cloud api and this connection that you're making here is going to be saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again in a different workflow or in the same workflow with whatsapp you can use your saved connections for that you just have to uh, select this existing connection option here and uh, you can choose your saved connections by selecting it from here it will sh this select connections option will show you the list of all the saved connections that you have these are my saved connections from here i am selecting this one and now you can see i just have to click on save and i'll be connected with cloud api that's how you can also connect okay and here it is asking for the templates name so first you have to create a uh, message templates in cloud api setup which are pre-created message structures and by using those templates we can send messages to multiple people on whatsapp and for this purpose guys i have already created a template let me show you that this is my message template named as appointment reminder and here you can see the preview of the message this is how the message is going to look like when i'm going to use this template it is saying hi roger Bini. this is a just this is just a sample name your appointment for full body checkup is held on this date between this time with this doctor please come on time so you can also create such templates guys and if you want to know how to create such a template you can watch the video from the description and in these templates guys you can see here in the body box of the message uh, template we have this one in double curly braces after hi then we have two three four and five so these placeholders are called body fields of the uh, message template this means uh, with the help of these body fields we can change a few things with every new message like the name of the patient the appointment date the appointment timing the doctor's name and everything and so on so uh, you can uh, learn from the descriptions video how to create such a template and after that you have to select the templates name from here so my templates name is uh, appointment reminder okay here is an appointment reminder all right and after that the language code and the template id will be auto populated and here it will ask for the recipient's mobile number so here you need to uh, place the whatsapp number of the patient and you you will find the patient's details from this iterator step like this so from this iterator only you can map the patient's 
details so in the first uh, field just click here and from the say traitor map the whatsapp number like this then it is asking for the body fields so guys to change the values of these body fields dynamically with every new message you need to map the values of these body fields inside the workflow so let us map the data so first body field is for the name of the customer or sorry the patient second body field is for the purpose of the appointment so i am putting here as routine checkup so you can put the values manually as well but the things that you are putting manually are going to remain the same okay so if you want to uh, put uh, dynamic things here you need to map the values but currently i do not have the data about the purpose of the appointment so i am putting it manually just to show you the demo okay but when in real time you are going to receive the appointment details you also mention here the reason for appointment so you can map the data from there okay in the third body field what we have the date of appointment you will find the date from the iterator this is the appointment date and you will find the timing of the appointment from the iterator only <clears throat> doctor's name you can put the uh, I am putting the doctor's name manually right now okay you can put uh, you can map it also if you have the data uh, so I have put a few things manually which are going to be static and these are the things which are going to change with every new message the labels I have mapped okay now let us check the connection with whatsapp by clicking on save and send test request button and a whatsapp message a test message will be sent to this number so this is actually not a real number to show you the demo i'm going to put my whatsapp number here and then i'll click on save and send test request button and i'll show you the message so guys i have clicked on save and send test request and this is the message i have received you can see on my whatsapp and the message is this hi dummy name your appointment for routine checkup is held on this date between this 10 to 11 a.m. with Dr. Pavli and from Pavli team. So you can see here guys in place of the body fields the data got placed automatically. Here in place of body fields the data got placed here like this because I have mapped the data here in the workflow. So that's how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. After that, you just have to add the appointment details and the workflow is going to check the appointment details and send the reminder messages one day before to the patients automatically. So guys, you can use this workflow as well because I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.